Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. I just finished recording my Dollar Tree Plus haul. So if you didn't see that, go check it out. Um, it was so exciting to find accidentally a Dollar Tree Plus in my area. All right, so I don't, I don't have a lot. My Dollar Trees, again, they're kind of sad right now. I mean, they've got stuff, but just not stuff that's interesting to me. So, I'll show you what I did pick up. I got one of these Dino tabletop lights um, for Sarah's friend. Okay, is it on? Let's see. Oh, I need to turn it on and it lights up. You're not gonna see it, but it, it does and it changes colors. So I got that for Sarah's friend. They had all different ones, but we tease him about dinosaurs. So I got him a dinosaur light because I got to build Easter baskets. So this is all the, this is the last thing I believe for the Easter baskets. But these are super cute. So I grabbed one of those. Um, for my lunch box this week, I grabbed two packs of these Kalamata and sea salt olives. I love these little packs. They sell them at Big Trader Joe's, but they're much more expensive than $1.25. So, and there's 40 calories, no carbohydrates. You get five, or there's about 10 olives in here. So I grabbed that for my lunches this week. Also for drinks. So I've been getting the like, I'm gonna make a video and show you, or maybe I did, I don't remember. Mixing crystal light thingies or these drink mix powders with the liquid drink mixes. I know. So I got one more of the pink Starburst, I like that. I have never tried this one, Snapple Fruit Punch. I used to drink Snapple all the time before I went keto and sugar free, but this is sugar free. So I grabbed Snapple. I got two of the Sonic Cherry Limeades. These are good. I like the Cherry Limeade. And I did get two of the Blue Ocean or Ocean ocean Water, uh, but I'm using, I opened one already. I know. So, you know, if you've watched me for any amount of time, I buy these drink mixes all summer long. Oh, I buy them all the time. Who am I kidding? Um, there was some new stuff in the beauty product, the Be Pure products. I don't know if I need a battery for these, probably. And it says, um, they're not included. Okay. Which is fine. I'm trying to get this open. These are face massagers. Sorry about that. My battery was full. Um, I'm not sure where I got, but this is from Be Pure you got to put some batteries in here, uh, some AAA batteries. Oh, I have it open. Then we got to turn it to the, oh, you turn it to off, and then there's an on position, and it, but it's got a jade stone in that one. And then this one has the little metal balls. Same thing. The one thing I will say is that it's very um, hard to turn it on and off, which is weird. And you need four, I think four AA batteries, two AA's maybe, I'm not sure. But you put it in and then it, you kinda gotta give it a good crank at the bottom. So yeah, I thought that was fun. I grabbed those just for some beauty, beautification at the old house. Um, they have some more bottles, water bottle stickers. I thought this was super fun. I'm gonna be taking a water bottle on some trips I have coming up. And I'm wondering if this is individual or all one piece. So this year I'm, I've got right now three car trips planned. Um, and next year I have an airplane trip planned. And so I need to get like a nice, easy water bottle to take. Okay. It is individuals. They're individual stickers. But if you had a water bottle that's tall like that, you can attach them. And I thought that was super fun for that. Oh, they have the beach, 
stuff back out. And this is like a buoy, but it's also a bell. But if you just sit it like in a beach decor place, it's like um, a buoy. They had a bunch of stuff, but I don't have an ocean theme. I just thought it was cute. And I also thought I could paint over it um, and do like a Christmas bell or something. I don't know. They also have just these stickers, but I just really wanted the L. <laughs> and they're also independent of each other. Yeah, I mean, there's, there wasn't just a whole lot of stuff to grasp. I did find at the same store that had the um, Five Below, they had these little two packs of OPI miniature nail polishes. So I grabbed a couple of these because I think I need this this one for sure staying here, this red and white. I love this red. I don't, I don't know if they tell you um, the color when, on the minis, but I do love an OPI red and I love this white nail polish for my toes. So let's see, this is, it just says infinite shine. Yeah. There's no name. Well, this one is COCO -C -O, and this is KOKO. -K -O. So maybe these numbers represent something, but it's like a burgundy, hot pink, and then this white, I'm gonna do my toes with. For the first of the season, I'm definitely giving this pink and yellow, or gold and blue to Sarah. And then this one is a hot pink and a dark purple. So we'll see what ends up staying here and what she chooses to have for hers. Um, this was also part of the C section, but I like just that this stencil for so in the arts and crafts, but you do have your anchor. And these are, it's a nice substantial um, stencil that you can use with paint or um, really anything. You can even take a pencil and trace these out if you wanted to and then hand paint them. So I thought this would be fun for um, crafting, even though I'm not gonna use it for what it's designed for, if that makes sense. So, I grabbed another turban towel. For me, I love these things, and I like that these have the elastic, and I use them pretty much every day when I shampoo my hair. I don't love the way it feels, but it is microfiber, and it's great if you have curly hair especially. And so I just grabbed one more to have in my closet right? Same thing with the dish drying uh, mat. I use these for under my coffee maker so I can slide it in and out and any spills. So I actually need to replace the one I have there now. And I have one under my air fryer so it doesn't overheat on my countertop and make a stain. So I love to grab these in different colors. Right now I'm just rocking the black ones. So I will change out the one that is currently under my coffee pot because there's all kinds of spilled coffee all over it. I know. Um, something fun I did find were these, and this is in the pantry section or where they have all the Tupperware and stuff, and it was on a, a hang tag thingy. So these are, you get 80 labels, right, of just the black that you can label anything. And it even came with a little white marker, um, a chalk marker. But you get 80 of these labels, which I thought was pretty darn fantastic. And this one, you get 100, and they're pre-written. So, like, it says all-purpose flour, baking, brown rice, cereal, chips, brown sugar, beans, black beans, almond flour, which is great for me, almond flour, one, breadcrumbs, cocoa, coffee, cat food, cornstarch, cookies. I'm assuming that each sheet is the same, but let's see. And this brand is... CoreKitchen.com, and it is out of New York. Um, these labels that are clear and black do not come with um, a pen, obviously. Oh no, they are different. They're alphabetized as well. So you have like gluten-free, jasmine rice, oatmeal, oats, kidney beans, lentils, dry food, dog food, 
pasta, popcorn, powdered sugar, peanuts, pinto bean, salt, sugar, yeast, sauces, snacks, cere and then you get extras like cereal, salt, pepper, chips, sweetener, rice, sugar, nuts, all purpose. So you get extra of these, but that's pretty fantastic. And these are clear, so if they went on a clear jar, um, you would just see the words. How fun is that? I need to redo my keto baking goods, so that'll be perfect for that adventure. Because, you know. I picked up a couple frames for some of my cross stitches, these little ones I love. I love this frame. And then I grabbed one of these. I'm going to try to make something small enough to fit in here and hang this on my tree as an ornament. Um, I'm working on one now and I'm not sure if it'll fit, but honestly, I could just do like Noel, Joy, Santa, Believe in here, you know, cross stitch it, put it in here and then hang this on my tree as an ornament. So I grabbed that because I thought that was perfect. This picture, it's a frame self-explanatory, but these frames are pretty decent at the Dollar Tree. So I grabbed those two. Um, I showed you that. I have some... Oh, I grabbed a deck of cards. So I think what I want to do at my work, I don't know if it's an Ohio thing. It's called a poker run. So what you do is typically it's motorcycles that I know of that do this. And you go from like bar to bar, you buy a drink, you do a task, you do a donation, whatever, your ta whatever the goal is, and you get a card. And then when you get back to your... Um, when you get done for the day, the best poker hand wins. So you would get like five or seven cards. So I'm thinking of doing something with my work that my teams can earn playing cards to build a poker hand. And then whoever gets the best poker hand will win a prize. Just something fun to do. So I grabbed a set of, these are from the New Orleans Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas. They're just a deck of cards. So I grabbed that for that to take to work. I picked up a deck and it was from the Pleasure Palace. I'm like, mm, I'm not taking that to work. I'm not doing that. Thank you. Um, I So, I, as I mentioned, I got some trips coming up. So, I started picking up a few travel things. First off is this. It's a travel razor. I love them. I will open this because I do have a trip this weekend. But it's just this little tiny razor, right? And it has a blade. And I feel like you can get replacement blades for these. I just have to look into that. And then it sits in its little case, but the back is ventilated. And so they don't get rusty and it doesn't get, it. Do, I mean, there is a, a blade cover on it, but I feel like this just keeps it safe and secure. But I like it that it's small enough. You know, you can, you can do some business with this. And I feel like, Oh yeah, it does come off. The whole the whole top comes off. Okay. Okay. So we just need to find the replacement blades. You just push that button and it separates and they must sell replacement blades. So I'm gonna be on the hunt for the replacement blade. Ooh, the replacement blades at the Dollar Tree for these little um, razors. I know that I think Venus sells them, but they're like eight or nine dollars. And quite frankly, I don't need to shave that often, to be quite honest with my age. <laughs> uh, so, oops, did I put it in there right? Is it correct? Yes. But I liked it. It has its own little, its own little case. Um, also, I picked up some nail files. I'm trying to find, last year, I bought the Eco brand at the Dollar Tree. And they were like this big. They were travel size. Because the ones that they have that's the sassy and chic stink. I'm not going to lie. Like I iron, or I iron, I file one nail and all of the grit is gone. And I can't, it doesn't work very good. So I'm going to try this brand, which is the Be Pure, I think it is. Uh, it doesn't say, but it's five little miniature emery boards to put in my like to go bag, in my makeup bag, just to see. I have to have a nail file with me everywhere I go. 
I, I must have one in my car, in my purse, because nothing drives me more batty than having a broken nail and a snaggle tooth nail and not being able to fix it. So I'm going to try these out and see how they work. Obviously, I can just take one. If they work well, I can take one, throw it in my bag. And then, you know, I'm trying to keep my, my health and beauty aids to a minimum. Also, they have these two um, travel precision shavers for obviously all different places of your body. And I, what I liked about these, which I don't really use these, but I think Sarah does. So I'll give them to her when she's got trips planned this summer. If she needs them, I'm opening them up, which I like. First of all, they come in a resealable package. So if you take them, but you can do whatever you're cleaning up and then it um, closes like that. So it's not going to hurt you or anybody else in your travel bag, right? You just snap it up and it stays. And if you need to do your eyebrows, little chin hairs, whatever, and you get a two pack, and they're just little tiny things. I thought that would be perfect for our travels this summer because we've got to get our stuff ready, guys. Now, these are something I like to keep with me, especially if I'm traveling abroad, if I'm going to be outside a lot, if I'm going to be places like camping or whatever. These are flushable um, wipes. So you can use them like a toilet paper. Because if you're going to be depending on public bathrooms for literally anything, you got to bring some stuff. You got to bring some tissues. You got to bring something. And these are great to have, especially if you're going to be somewhere. Um, I'm just trying to see if it says do not flush more than one. Especially if you're going to be somewhere like when I go camping and backpacking. Or if you're eating a new diet and you might have some issues. I'm just saying. These are great to have. It's the first time I've seen them at the Dollar Tree. Now, when I fly, I don't know if I will take this size pack, but I know at Target in the Dollar Spot, they have the um, Cottonelle and it's like three or four. I would travel with that. I leave it in my purse. I will tell you more than once when I was overseas um, in England, Ireland, or England and Scotland, the multiple trips I've been, that I've needed something because I was in a public bathroom and they didn't have any toilet paper. I mean, what if it happens here all the time too. I'm just saying I'm not getting stuck. So I pack these, but like I said, this is a big pack. So I probably would not need 36 of them. So I'm just get a smaller or take a couple of these out and put them in a zip bag. And then the last thing I got is for planning. Oh, look at this notebook. It has that smooth, soft feel on the front. It says soft touch. I need to see if I can get this sticker off because that will make my life so much happier. Um, okay, no, no, mm -mm. I'll have to pick at it later. But you got, um, it just says adventure is out there and it's literally just, it's like a composition book. But I love the feel of it. It feels like a rubber. But I also want this to, when I go out, so I've been going to like Starbucks and making notes and stuff and i want to have a notebook to write in and i think this will be perfect for the next two years of travel planning so that's everything that i got this week at the dollar tree so i hope you enjoyed the video and check out our facebook group and i will talk with you later bye